I spent 24 hours inside Blender Octane's compositor just to see if it's actually worth using. Most Blender artists skip this entirely. They render their images, they open them up in Photoshop or Fusion, and they never touch the compositing tab at all. But here's what surprised me. Octane's compositor isn't just functional, it's actually pretty solid. In this video, I'll break down exactly how to use it what works, and how to make it part of your workflow without losing your mind. If you're new here, my name is Patrick LeVar. I've been learning Blender Octane for the past five years and teaching everything I know and giving it out for free. And I've also built one of the top Blender Octane communities online where serious artists get access to exclusive materials, feedback, direct support, and one-on-one. -on -one. Well, you know what? Enough of the jibba jabba. Let's get straight into the video. Now, when you look at this setup here, it does look a little bit complicated, but once you get a grasp of the setup, up, it's actually fairly easy. If I come up here to this top one here, I'm gonna go full screen for you guys. This is where we set up our AOV render passes. Here is our AOV group, which you have to have. And here we're gonna group out to all of the different AOV channels that we wanna have. 